Roblox just released like five different updates that will absolutely change the course of Roblox's future. A huge Roblox game was deleted, Roblox items are getting cheaper again, and so much more stuff in today's video that I want to talk about after I ask you to subscribe because when you subscribe, my day gets a hundred times better. I'm serious, so please subscribe. I beg of you, all right? But anyways, let's get to the news because there's actually so much stuff I want to talk about with the first story being something that's just a little silly and honestly doesn't affect much <laughs> in the grand scheme of things. But if you guys don't know and you haven't been playing Roblox for a while, all the way back eight years ago at this point in 2017, something was supposed to happen that I uh, never did. You see, Roblox was actually supposed to get hacked, like completely hacked and destroyed on March 18th, 2017. And if you look at the calendar and, or at the bottom right of your computer or whatever, you might notice that it's the 19th of March and uh, of 2024 and Roblox is completely fine because uh, yeah, Roblox didn't actually like get shut down or anything like that. And what I'm talking about is the John Doe attacks on Roblox. At this point, everybody knows who John Doe is. And yesterday we celebrated the, I think, seventh or eighth year anniversary of the supposed hack that was supposed to happen. And yeah, it was just John Doe day. As you can see, here's some tweets from, from Roblox RTC saying seven years ago today, John Doe was supposed to hack Roblox. Now, this was actually like such a huge thing back in the day. It got millions of views. It got so much attention. And it got to the point where Roblox actually like released a blog post about it saying that these accounts that people were saying were going to hack Roblox were actually just test accounts made all the way back in 2006. You already know that the whole spiel. Okay. But yeah, anyways, that's what happened uh, yesterday on John Doe Day. Nothing, nothing happened, but it was John Doe Day and that's kind of awesome. But anyways, now we can move on to do a bad thing and then we can get onto all the good updates that Roblox released over the past little while. Basically, the one bad thing that I saw happen on Roblox was this. Basically, it was a tweet from a game developer that made the game Bake the Baby. And basically, the tweet says, Bake the Baby got content deleted. What do I do at Roblox DevRel? And as you can see, there's a screenshot where the game Bake the Baby is content deleted. You can see that the reason for this deletion is the name of the game. So I guess you can't have a game called Bake the Baby, which I guess makes sense. Um, but I think it's just kind of annoying because the game wasn't actually like bad or anything. Yeah, this game was like really popular. I think it had like 20,000 players at one point. It was absolutely massive. I even saw like a video by someone named One Cole, where he basically talked about how he made the game blow up and like become a viral success, which it was. And uh, sadly, I guess after that video came out, Roblox caught wind of it and uh, got mad, I guess. But ever since this happened, they have gotten the game back up, but it is now just called something different. And honestly, I don't know if it's a better name. Uh, <laughs> now, when you search up Bake the Baby on Roblox, you'll find a game called Murder vs. Baby, which I don't, that's not right grammar. And also, uh, you know, I feel like that's worse. That's worse than, you know, Bake the Baby. I don't know though. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong, guys. But um, yeah, that's what happened with that game. It is still doing fantastic. It's still a pretty cool game. And yeah, they're, they're still doing well, but it was a bit scary for a moment. They, they could have gotten their game completely deleted for a second, but uh, it seems like they're saved. They saved themselves. But anyways, now we can get on to the craziest, awesomest, coolest freaking Roblox updates I've ever seen. All right. Because Roblox had like something happen today where they basically just pushed out like a bunch of random updates to the website. And let me tell you, a lot of these updates is probably going to affect the future of Roblox in a positive way. Because the first thing I saw here was this tweet by Bloxy News saying, starting today, hashtag Roblox creators will now have access to the rights manager, a brand new tool that lets you manage IP infringement removal requests. So if you don't know what this is, basically if someone steals like your UGC creations or your games or your like art, you can actually request to remove it yourself. You don't have to be like a big business to do it anymore. Because before, I think you have to be like lawyered up to, to actually file a IP removal request. But now it's just available for everyone. Now this could be a bad update. This could lead to people misusing it. But honestly, uh, this is like a legal matter. So I don't think many people are going to abuse this in a very bad way. Because if you do abuse it in a bad way, you can get sued and lose a lot of money. But either way, it is a good thing for creators that get their items stolen. Like for example, UGC creators or like game creators. But there is a sad part to this because when I first read this tweet, it kind of made me think that like this whole new update and removal request system was able to be used by normal people like, you know, me, you, everybody else to remove stuff off of their account. Because if you don't know, Roblox actually bans people that uploads these uh, intellectual property things. One major example is like Nike shirts and Adidas shirts. If you've ever uploaded one of those, you could possibly get banned for just uploading it, right? And I thought that this whole thing could maybe help people delete those shirts off of their account. But no, this is just for people that actually want to take intellectual property stuff down that's been uploaded by other people. You can't delete stuff off of your account through this whole form. You know what I mean? But either way, it still is a good update and it's going to make it a lot easier for, you know, developers and such to, uh, you know, 
take down stuff that thieves have stolen from them, you know? But either way, that is the lamest of the updates that have happened. And the next update is one that is going to be hard to explain, but when you understand it, you'll realize how crazy this is. But Bloxy News tweeted out, creating an avatar from scratch can be a lot of work. Thanks to the new avatar auto setup tool in studio, Roblox creators can now automatically rig, cage, segment, and skin 3D models with the click of a button. So basically what this means is you can literally just drag and drop like models into a new thing on Roblox Studio, and it'll basically convert it into an avatar for you, from what I believe. Now this is insane. This is going to lead to so many crazy Roblox packages probably being uploaded, and it's also just going to be so much easier for developers to add their own custom characters to their games, because as it stands right now, it is pretty difficult to create your own like Roblox like avatar for your games, and usually people just end up using UGC items, but now Roblox has made it so much easier to do it, and uh, I think this is available to literally everybody on Roblox, as long as you have Studio. So if you go into Studio and you have like a 3D model you want to use as a character in your game, you can literally just drag and drop it into something and it'll rig it for you and it'll make it an actual character for you. It's insane. Now it's all, now it's not all sunshine and rainbows because if you look at the picture attached in the tweet, you see this thing. Yes, it's uh, <laughs> a little bit scary looking. And uh, most of the comments under this tweet are just talking about this character. If you're a developer, you're probably jumping up in joy right now. But if you're not a developer, you probably don't care and you want me to move on to the next positive story, which is this one right here, which is also only really for developers. But don't worry, there's another update that I think is very, very positive that applies to every single person on Roblox. But we got to get through this one first because it's the new texturing update on Roblox, where basically Roblox has announced the beta of the texture generator for Studio, a tool that lets AI create custom textures for your meshes simply from word prompts. Now, you might be like, okay, wasn't this already on Roblox? No. What we had on Roblox was a, was a material generator, which basically what that did is it just made a flat texture that could be applied to like walls and stuff. But what this generator does is it textures 3D objects, which is way more impressive. So as you can see, apparently this texture on this couch, all the fabric on this is made by AI, which is just insanely impressive. I'm not a big AI fan, to be honest, but this is really cool. Now, here's the thing. Uh, apparently this texturing stuff doesn't work the best, <laughs> but again, it is new. And obviously with AI, it needs to like train over time, I guess. I don't really know how AI completely works, but that's what I understand. And if you go into the comments, you can see some really funny examples that people have when they use this texture generator, such as this one, where someone tried to texture like a blank Builderman model, and it and it gave this texture. Oh my god, this looks terrible. You also see this tweet right here. Anyone know what I did wrong? Looks normal in the preview, and the, and the model is just messed up. Now, for the most part, a lot of people hate this update just because it's AI, which I completely understand. I, I, like, I could not imagine being someone that does texture work and then seeing this. Like, I feel like a lot of people are probably just annoyed by it at most because you know the, you know this is trying to like replace people you know that make textures for stuff which is not very cool but either way now we can move on to the actual update that matters and it's roblox lowering the prices of everything on the catalog a teeny tiny tiny bit okay so the last time i actually looked at the catalog i noticed that heads and hat accessories were 65 robux minimum but i went and i checked today and as you guys can see by this hat right here it's 60 robux which is cheaper than before i know i know it's not like crazy and honestly, 60 Robux is still more expensive than what these items all were like a month and a half ago. But hey, at least the items are getting cheaper. Uh, at least they're not, they're not getting more expensive, you know? As you can see, here's a bunch of more dog items that Roblox is recommending to me, and they're all 60 Robux. So yeah, it seems like right now the minimum price for hats is 60 Robux instead of 65, which you know, is is fine, I guess. I feel way more expensive than it should be. But, you know, if you want to get a hat and you want to save a little bit of Robux before the prices go back up, probably buy it buy it right now because, because Roblox is no stranger to raising the prices. And honestly, at this point, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, the prices get raised again. Now, on top of items being a little bit cheaper in the catalog, we also have this other update that I noticed where basically Roblox has been lowering the prices of their daily hunt items, which if you don't know what that means, basically Roblox is releasing a brand new item every single day on the hunt like hub world. And they scared everybody because they made the second ever item they released on the hunt 36,000 Robux, which is like, I think $400, but no, 36,000 Robux isn't a normal price for these items because since that happened, they have been lowering the prices slowly with the newest item being 700 Robux, which is still pretty expensive, but it is a lot cheaper than 36,000. And now for one just small, tiny update that I noticed is uh, Roblox released this animation pack. And the reason this is such a big deal is because they haven't released an animation pack in like six years or something. And yeah, this animation pack is actually pretty awesome. I think it's really funny. Go buy this animation pack if you want. It's uh, it's kind of funny.